there folks welcome to another episode of Michael in the backyard today's tear down the chicken house day well at least I'm gonna get started on it we'll see how many hours I can get in before we lose our light got a late start today tried working on a vehicle of mine that's in the shop and it's frustrated me to no end I think it'll frustrate a person till a, a guy could flatline on it anyway had to walk away from it before I wanted to, you know, bring it out in the middle of the yard and let Big Mo have its way with it. So it's sitting in there, chilling. I'm out here chilling. Here's what we got. This is what they call on my abstract or my plan or my, uh, the you know, county stuff, a premium hog building. Maybe it was in the day. Not anymore. I was going to go in here. It's going to get a little dark. But it is... Uh, See back in the corner there, that's where I pulled part of the foundation away already. There's a couple of bales of straw. But as you see, it's a low ceiling height situation here. And it has one outlet set up in here I need to unhook. I only ran one outlet to this building 12 years ago when we moved here. And here again, first time I had acreage and I'm like, we gotta have chickens. Yeah, I fell into that trap like other people have and uh, had chickens, chickens for probably five, six years. And it was great. You know, I had more eggs than I could possibly eat. I, I couldn't sell them. I couldn't give them away fast enough even. I had 100 chickens. Yeah, they, you get about 70-some uh, eggs a day and once they're hit maturity. But as you can see here, we got this big old, I hate to cut this joker down, but it's a big old hickory nut tree. Talk about a mess in the fall. When it starts dropping hickory nuts and you run over this area with a lawnmower, whew, now here's some of the big flaws here. Check that out. There's a big old busted piece in the foundation there. And as you can see, you know, it wasn't a bad chicken house and it probably wasn't bad when it was new, but the people that built this chicken house and poured this concrete, let's just say, the entire concrete on the entire property, except the house, with the exception of the house, because I'm guessing that has to have some kind of building code. They use no fencing, no rebar, no anything in any of the concrete pads on this property. It just blows my mind that you'd spend the money to put concrete down, but you wouldn't spend the money to add a time or a little bit of money to add the rebar to it. So, you know, because this could have been actually a really good foundation uh, even though this is a short building, I could have easily, you know, built a tall building on this same foundation, but the floor is all busted up. And as you can see, this is where I, I just for fun dug down with the backhoe a few months ago before winter hit. And keep in mind, we're still, it's February, but it's still cold out and we're going to have some more cold, but it's just not cold now. Where we, I dug down here just to see what the foundation was like. And the foundation was, a, uh, it's a thickened it's what they call a thickened edge, if you will, type of uh, uh, foundation it has on it. But I've already chopped down one tree. This is a little, uh, I don't know what they are. I think they're a, uh, I'm not sure what kind of tree this is. It almost looks like a helicopter maple leaf looking thing, but it is the gnarliest little brambled up thing. So we got that down. We gotta get these trees out of the way so I can get the backhoe in here. As you can see here, I can rip the roof off and I want to rip the, I'm just basically going to just get all the tin off of it that I can because I'll, I'll salvage the tin, turn that in for recycling. And, uh, but the rest of it's going to be caved in. We'll burn all the wood that's inside, except for this back door. My wife wants to keep this back door, which I don't blame her. It's a neat old door. Is this rot or is this, Ooh, that's kind of rotten there. It all feels pretty soft. I don't know, this was a, uh, I don't know what you want to call that. But yeah, this is it from the other side. It's a decent sized building. It just needed to be taller. It actually make a nice, you know, if a guy had a big enough uh, height in there, you could actually pull a car part in there and. You know, do a restoration part project in there, but you know, it had to be one of those restoration part. I stepped in a lot of mud. 
Oh my god. It's so sticky. It's all muddy right there. But uh if you wanted to, you know, have a single stall, extra wide single stall, anyway, that's not happening. We're going to tear it down. And then I'll go down to the courthouse and say, "Hey, just FYI, let's take this building off of my property because I'm paying taxes on buildings that are not of any use to me. Now I did, like I said, I did run the one wire down here. It goes in the ground, it's underground cable. I will peel that out of there once I disconnect the power. But uh, we need to knock a few more trees down. And uh, there again, well, uh, you probably might have seen my little chainsaw video. And you're going to see how well my little chainsaw, <laughs> this is this little Oregon, not Oregon, old uh, Poolin, Poolin Pro. I've had it here for 12 years. Eventually I'd get a steel or a, or a Echo or something like that of that caliber. But as you can see, let's see if we can get you guys an angle on this. This tree is probably going to fall, let's just say that way. You know, it's going to go to the left. Uh, not really much else I'm going to do unless I wanted to hook a chain up to it. Nice thing is I'm pretty sure it's short enough it'll miss the building. There's Big Mo. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's like, get them trees out of my way and let me have at it. But yeah, we can use the forks to pick up logs and all the brush and pile them up out of the way. And I'll be able to log this piece out into some log links that I can... I don't know. We'll see if there, I can get enough log length out there to possibly have a sawmill sawmill up some of this lumber for fun. We'll see. Hickory nut tree, though, that's pretty cool. Now, the hickory nut tree, as you can see, it's broken. It broke the top out of there. Uh, I think that happened during what they call a derecho. Had some high winds come through, take out a few trees. A lot of people up north of us just got devastated. Roofs and roofs and houses peeled off, but... I lost a big tree in the front yard and these limbs and another tree over there and that was it uh feel very feel very fortunate there but yeah we're gonna this one here is also uh leaning heavily toward the building <laughs> so i'm gonna notch it in such a fashion i don't know we gotta look at that a little bit too all the weight is going to the right so i might just let it just go down to the right. It doesn't matter if it hurts the building or not, because I'm not trying to save the building. But the one thing I do know is you take these broken limbs off here, you cut them up into chunks, and you can smoke some meat in your smoker with chunk wood. So I'm gonna have to save a few logs just to chunk for that reason. So let's get started on the sawing. Let's go ahead and follow a tree. I got some lunch coming in a little bit. How many minutes we got? Uh, eight minutes is all. Can I fall a tree in eight minutes? <laughs> We're going to find out. Now I'm going to put you guys over here. And as you can see here, this is down the side of the building. That's the tree we're going to take down. I'm just debating whether I even need to notch it just for the simple fact it's only going to go one way. I think I'm just going to start going into it. She'll stop, start snap, crackling, and popping, I'm sure. Let's give her a whirl here. See if she's going to run. Here we go.
Didn't even touch the building. Sweet. On the log, baby. Nice, nice piece of wood there. Well, let's get it limbed up. First off, how long did that take? Not very long. Love that popping sound it made. Us. 303s, 306. All right. I think part of me wants to go ahead and knock that old hickory down. See, we do that next. Keep you guys back here out of harm's way. This one I will notch. Now the wind is blowing the opposite way I notched it and it pulled back and pinched on my saw. If the wind dies down, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go that way. I'll show you what kind of notch I got in it. A big one, a big one. Now looking at how the tree is weighted limb-wise and weight-wise and tilt-wise, it looks like it should go to the right. I've got a pretty good notch in there, pretty decent. And I am pretty deep. Yeah, I'm in there pretty deep. I know I can take the tractor and push it over, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, yeah. Well, we'll just, we'll just leave it like that and go eat lunch. And maybe, just maybe, Mother Nature will take it the rest of the way down for me. But I'm hungry. I got to go eat. We'll be back in a minute. All right, we're getting in some low light conditions here. I've got the microphone on the camera. I'm going to, I don't know where to stick you guys. You know what? Man, do I, do, do I dare do this? Thinking about sticking you right to the roof because my goal is to take the tractor and hit it because right now I have it notched out pretty good. My chainsaw got stuck, the wind quit blowing. That's a pretty healthy notch. And I think if I... I'm just going to plant you guys right here on the roof with the magnetic thing here.
Well, that went extremely well. Let me get you out here. This, this forks are... The forks that I built are working amazingly well. They're exactly what I was hoping it would do. I can actually get out here and get underneath something like this and just pick it right up. Disengage the brake here. The nice thing is I can just This is a heavy tree. This is hickory. This is going to stress things for sure. How the forks look? Nice and straight, baby. Gotta like that. Chicken house looks all alone now. Nice thing I was able to get that tree out of my way so I can limb it up. Nice thing is I'll be able to go out and start to tear roughing off. Let's just see if we can shove that other tree out of my way. down earlier it's kind of the goal would be the bucket protects everything on the tractor oh yeah look at that oh my goodness Watch my trailer over there. But look at that, it just picks this tree up like it's nothing. I'm at low idle. <laughs> oh man. All right, that was a lot of fun felling them trees. I did limb up the one tree already. The two big trees I knocked down that you saw me knock down, I haven't limbed them up yet. I actually did a what I'd call a decent job of getting them out of my road. So right here, I've got a little pile of tin started. The goal here is to add to that pile. But that big old hickory nut tree there handled it with ease the old tractor the old backhoe and then the same way let's go around the other side of the building here we'll get you guys set up so you can i'm gonna set you up on the front of the tractor to see if i can get you some good footage of me ripping the tin off of this thing and then mainly had to knock these trees down to i want this ground to be flat no trees to start with anyway but i want to be able to gain access to this tin Looks like here I need to push this dirt back into the hole. We'll see how much of this tent I can get ripped off here. But that was a good sized tree. There again, got it pushed off over here. We'll be limiting that up. I called a, a guy. I know a guy. He's interested in some firewood. I'm interested in getting rid of this wood because I don't have a fireplace or a wood burner. Yet he does, so figured why not? Let him come cut up what he wants. And he likes to cut wood and enjoys that type of thing. So, you know, he wins, I wins, we all wins. I'm trying to think of a good spot to put you guys on time lapse. There we go. We got you guys set up on top of the boat for time lapse here, which kind of look almost down on the roof, which is fine. 
But the goal is, I want to sell, like I said, I'm not looking to salvage the tin to reuse it because it's old tin and it's been around a minute. And, but I want to be able to peel it off as flat as possible, keep as many nails in it as possible. So when I go to turn it in, I can stack it easy. You, you see what I'm saying? Now it's a 50 something degree day. Typically I would need to have the tractor. There's still some little piles of snow here. We melted off over two feet of snow here in the past two weeks. So yeah, the ground is, I'm leaving tracks, but that's okay. I'm not worried about tracks. All this, all this is gonna get reworked. Now I noticed in my video I did last night, I thought I had image stabilization on. We're gonna look at that because I noticed when it was on the tractor here, we had some vibration. Vibration, because I had you guys planning right here. So I'm gonna shut you off for a second, see if I can get that stabilization corrected. have a better vantage point here than I do.
Hi there, and it's the next day, and we're making more progress on tearing this old chicken house down. Now, my wife wanted to hang on to this old sun faded, let's just call it patinaed <laughs> chicken door. This used to be called a premium hog building. It was, a, it was my chicken house. It was my chicken house, and now it's going to be premium collapsed. But once I'm going to grain this off because we don't need this part, but she wants the hinges forward so we're just gonna cut these hinges off Careful not to set it on fire before I want to set it on fire, you know. Cutoff wheel is getting kind of tiny. Did I bring the other wheel with me? I, I had another wheel. down oh it's heavier than i thought now yesterday i'd say we got a really good start on things hopefully i can finish up it's calm there's almost less than five mile an hour breeze what i'd call good conditions for burning if that's what happens tonight so now i'm gonna go cave in the other side over there Get that all pushed in. Then I'm going to take the back and see if I can peel this sheet metal off this side and that side. And then we're ready to push it all in and make it, uh, make it just not be there anymore, okay?
Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. We got the chicken house torn down. What you're seeing on my face is the sunset. Yeah, sunset, let's call it that. Uh, pretty successful teardown. Oh, for this video, that was, you might've saw me, you might've saw me, you might've seen me, you might've looked at me, you might've watched what I did. You might've saw where I took the forks and the backhoe and I was trying to peel the, the siding off, you know, just to, yeah, a little overkill using a big old backhoe to peel off siding. I totally get it. But, you know, I'm just practicing. I'm not very good at operating this thing yet. I'm just still practicing. So it gave me some practice. But yeah, the backhoe did, did a good job of knocking it all in, getting it all tore down. And uh, pretty tickled with how it's coming out so far. Now I have, as you saw in this video, I had, that thing will, those forks that I put on there will lift a big piece of concrete. It's a five foot by uh, five foot by seven foot piece. A couple of them I had, forks underneath it, tilt it back, pick it up as high as I want. Drive it over, dump it off my hill where I'm fit, doing some landfill to fill it in to make me some more flat area eventually but uh worked out pretty good but now we're just out here on sunset watch just you know making sure the sun goes down and doesn't cause any other problems you know because the sun can do that every now and then but yeah it's it's pretty pretty nice well thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment if you saw something that was going on that you thought could have been done differently, better, or, yep, I've done that too, and it was quite the treat, or I had an accident, or <laughs> any number of things like that. So, as you can see back here, we saved Mama's barn door so she can, we can turn it into a barn door over the basement bathroom. So she's got grand designs on that, which is good. She needs a project like that. It's good to keep her thinking, you know? So, but, all right, enough rambling. Thank you guys for watching. It means the world to me, the comments, the thumbs up, the, you know, comments. It, it just means the world to me. I appreciate you guys taking the time to spend it with me whether it's on a Tuesday or a Saturday or a Sunday, or I try to drop videos every Sunday. This last Sunday kind of got away from me a little bit and ended up being a, a Monday video, but we got her done. Wow, sunset's really bright right here. Woo, oof to me. Well, at least it was a good calm night, minimal amount of breeze to watch the sunset for sure you guys take care be kind to one another and if it ain't broke fix it till it is i can't wait to get after this foundation with the old forks and the backhoe and just get this all and i got some stump i got two three stumps to remove we got a lot of work to do just to get this area straightened out but the weather's not going to hold for very long i think we're supposed to get back in today the high was 50. We're supposed to get back into some winter this is february and uh, it's crazy that it got up to 50 today and tomorrow. So, but next week looks a little chillier. This is Michael. I'm out.